Alright guys, how's it going? So I loaded up Blender Launcher today and I was just wanting to download the latest build and I noticed one thing that caught my attention and it was the 2.92 Alpha experimental build of the Asset Browser and I thought, hmm, I need to check this one out. Now, if you don't know what Blender Launcher is, I've made a video about it, I'll put the card up in the top right. Essentially it lets you manage and download your Blender files. So I downloaded the experimental branch and we'll take a look at the Asset Browser. Now, to be fair, it's not fully fledged, it's not complete, it is an experimental branch, but what I need to do here is, I need to change the timeline and I need to go to Asset Browser. And it's the beginning of something beautiful. Now I hope this gets implemented into Blender very soon because just having an asset browser or being able to store files, ah, it's so good. So it's very easy to use to be honest. Now you can see here we have scenes, animations, objects and collections, geometry, shading. We can even add in a catalogue. But one thing I'm going to do here is, I'm going to treat the default cube with the respect that it deserves. I'm actually going to make this an asset. Now the only way that I'm aware that you can do this is if you come up to the cube in the outliner, you right click, go to ID data, and you can see here, make asset. Now this could probably do with being a shortcut, like a right click, so all you need to do is hit make asset, and you can see here the cube is now added. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add in a different mesh, so we'll add in something like Suzanne. And again, we'll right click, ID data, make asset. Now obviously I'm using very basic assets at the moment, but you get the point, you can start to build a library of assets. And I really do hope this comes to Blender and I hope it gets implemented full time. So let's take a look at the shading because this can be pretty cool. Also one thing you can do here is with the Asset Browser you can drag things on which... Ah, so good, so good! This is what we need, this is what we need. But we'll take a look at shading so what I'm going to do here is with the cube, I'm going to add in a few materials so I'll call this white. Let's add in another material. Let's call this black. Let's change the base colour to black. And we'll just do a red one for example. And what you can do here is you can actually start to save different materials. So I'll come to the outliner, I'll drop down the cube, you can see here my materials, white, right click, make an asset. And if I go into the shading tab, you can see here, let's do black, make an asset, let's do red, make an asset. And what we can then do is we can grab this and drag it onto the object to help if we were actually in the render view and check us out. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. And that is the experimental branch of the Asset Browser. Please, Blender, bring this in, please. Now, I know they're working on the Asset Browser, and I know there's alternatives when it comes to add-ons and things like this, but just having it implemented in this way is so cool. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.